Okay, there's a lot of talk about width of the arc. The wider the arc, the farther you hit it. Got to get wide, you know, keep the arc wide, all that good stuff. And that leaves out one really important variable, which is depth, okay? Which also can be overdone. So just to clarify what those two, two terms are, width of the arc is the arc of the golf club or it can be the arc of the hands, okay? I like to refer to the arc of the hands and keeping that um, distance constant through the whole swing. So that's a loss of width, that's too much width. That's increasing the arc too much, okay? And then there's depth. Depth is where your hands get on this, the horizontal uh, axis. So width is distance from the chest and will very often be more vertical and depth is more horizontal. And you see people getting too deep and going like this, okay? Overconnected, right elbow, bad, okay? Too much width, hands too high, right arm disconnected, okay? There's always been a lot made that Davis loved the third for 30 years. Hits the ball far because his swing arc is so wide. Completely, completely misleading. Davis Love III has, if not the best, one of the best combinations of being wide and deep. Okay? So wide and deep would be a diagonal line away from the golf ball, plus or minus a few degrees. So if you see guys with too much width, too much depth, no good. You look at Davis Love, he's got ridiculous amounts of width and depth. So the butt of his club at the top of the swing is a huge distance from the ball. And that's one of the reasons, on top of having a great swing, why he hits the ball so far, even getting close to 50. So, what you want in your swing is the maximum amount of width where you keep the width constant of your hands away from your chest. This is not enough width. This is too much width. Depth is how far you get your hands this way. A good measure is if you draw a vertical line from the right heel, I call that the depth line, you want your hands somewhere around that depth line. On this side, you're not deep enough. On this side, you're too deep, okay? You can overdo a good thing on both width and depth. I know a lot of tongue twisters, a lot of um, technical mumbo jumbo going on here, but here's the important part, is if you drew a graph, vertical and horizontal, okay? like any graph that you had in grade school. You want to go right up the middle of that graph and have the maximum amount of width and depth and try to get the butt of the club at the top of the swing as far away from the ball as possible. And as you can see, if you're too wide and not deep enough, that's not that far from the ball. If you're too deep and not wide enough, that's not that far from the ball. But if you're deep and wide, your arms will be connected, your hands will be the proper distance from your chest, and you'll have all sorts of room to bring the club down to the ball.